ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. It is I, your gracious host, Black Raiden. And I'm back with a brand new video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you see who I got with me. You see him, the big man, the cleaner man. He really does not need an introduction because he's my dynamic duo, my tools partner. Mr. Don't Come In My Paint, AKA the paint is shut down. King Banaka. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are not in the Rise affiliations. We're not in the theater, even though, you know, we love the theater. We love Rise, you know, but every now and then, you know, King Banaka was like, hey, man, let's go hoop it, you know, elite, you know, just a different set or a different scenery, you know, a different feel. You know, you don't want to always hoop in the same places. You dig, you feel me? But I will say this about the elite affiliation, you know, and this is just going to be brief. I understand why the majority of people who are, are a part of that affiliation, they do hoop at the rise affiliations because the elite courts are spaced out way too far. OK, if you play NBA 2K24 and just go to the elite, if you're not uh, an elite member, should I say, just go to the elite and then, you know, pull up the map and look how far the courts are spaced out. Now, I will give 2K this. I love the colors of this affiliation. You know, they really popped the purples, the blues, and different things like that. And the futuristic look is a really nice touch, but the courts are too far apart. They're way too far apart, you know what I'm saying? And when you're trying to get games back to back to back to back, and you're really just trying to, you know, maximize the amount of time that you may have on the game, the elite affiliation is just it's just not it. Not far as efficiency is concerned. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just not it. So, you know, the difference between them and Rise, everything is compact in Rise. You know, like the uh, twos courts are on the right hand side once you first come in. And then the threes courts are like sprinkled around, you know, the, the opposite end, uh, the left side. You know, there's a court underneath the ground and all this other stuff. It's pretty convenient. So you can get games, you know, back to back to back to back. But anyway, that's not what this that's not what this uh, video is about, ladies and gentlemen. That's not what this video is about. Let's have a conversation. And yes, I am going to be popping in and out far as commenting on the gameplay because you know we're we're kind of down right now. It's eight to zero. But you, now, come on. What is the AM Clan's motto? Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We never what give up. Come on, you watching a black rating video? You really think these boys gonna win? <laughs> which leads me into the, the the topic of this uh video ladies and gentlemen what is comp okay now i dropped a video last week talking about the difference between uh comp versus casuals and i really want to pose this question to my subscribers and please let me know your thoughts down in the in down in the comments please because what is what is a competitive player is it just somebody who wants to win now, don't get me wrong. We all play video games to have fun, you know, or well, at least we should. You know, some of y'all, you know, you know, you, you know who you are. You, <laughs> you know who you are. But outside of having fun, when you have a battle type game, when you have a sports type game or something that you get to compete against other people, don't you want to win? So if we're basing the idea of a comp player based off of a person who really, really, really wants to win, then wouldn't everybody be comp? But then again, you, I can't really say that because everybody's not good at the game. Now, this leads me into another point. Does your win percentage take a, a factor or is it even necessary? Now, I will say this in 2K. I don't really think that win percentages mean as much as they once did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't I don't think they really do, because I played against people who had, I guess, you know, in my Swante voice, uh, negative win percents. And they were actually really good teammates. You know what I'm saying? Like they really had IQ because sometimes a person with a bad record you know what i'm saying and i say bad record as anything that's below 50 percent. you know what i'm saying but a person with a not so great record might not actually be a bad player maybe they don't have people to run with meaning maybe they don't have you know teammates maybe they don't have friends who play the game 
You know what I'm saying? Maybe they run with a lot of random people. Now, if you're one of those people who like to play random wreck, and hold on, what color was that? Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. Green. What other color would it be? Come on now, this, that ain't gonna be the only. That ain't gonna be the only green I shoot. Come on now. Don't don't act like don't act like I ain't got it on me. I know I missed a couple of shots in the beginning of this of this of this uh, match, but don't but don't act like I ain't that dude. All right, don't don't act like I ain't got it on me. You feel me? But anyway. Does your win percentage truly dictate uh, if you are a comp player, a.k.a. a highly competitive player? Now, sure, win percentages are important to a certain extent, but I personally don't believe that it is the end all be all because I played against people who have uh, really high win percentages and they were trash at the game. And that just lets me know that you get carried. Somebody on your team is really, really good and they carried you to all those wins. You, you feel me? I'm just saying that's that's just what it is. Sometimes you I mean, I, I ain't gonna say sometimes, especially in 2K24 and how clunky this game is. You can't really judge a person based off their win percentage. And what color is that? Ladies and gentlemen, say it with me. Green. What other color would it be? Come on now. Stop acting like I'm not that guy. You saw how far I was shooting. You saw how far I was shooting. And even though 2K likes to touch shooting every like four or five, you know, days or something like that, the fact that I can shoot semi kind of consistently is a win in my book. You dig? <laughs> it's a win in my book. But anyway, does your win percentage play a part? Does it? I would say win percentages matter about 20%. And also, that was another what color is that, ladies and gentlemen? You thought I forgot. You thought I wasn't paying attention. I ain't going to even say it because I know you did. But anyway, are win percentages that big of a benefactor? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Secondly, when it comes to being comp, do you have to play in these pro-am leagues? Do you have to do that to be considered comp? Do you have to become part of the 2K league to be considered comp? I don't know. Tell me, because whenever I look at those live streams on like Twitch and, you know, kick of the 2K League and, you know, them playing and, you know, playing against each other and different things like that. Those are some of the most boring games I have ever what I've ever watched. I'm just being honest, ladies and gentlemen, the 2K League. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's a bad thing, you know, getting paid to play 2K professionally. That's a that's a dub, man. And to anybody who makes the league, good looking, my boy, good looking, my girl. I hope you take this as far as you possibly can take it. But let's just be honest. That style of gameplay is not for everybody. <laughs> it's not. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going back to the gameplay right now. It's 19 to 14. And he just threw my stuff. <laughs> that man said, get it out of here. But I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm just I'm just letting you know what's on my mind. I'm just being real with you. Your boy Black Rating can only be himself. And I, I've watched those 2K League games. I've watched uh, a lot of those Pro-Am games. Now, there are exceptions. I will say that. Like that boy Joe knows. He makes his his videos with the uh, Pro-Am leagues and the different little intramural leagues and that he plays and he makes them exciting to watch. You feel me? Because the gameplay is actually good. Like the team that he runs with is actually really, really, really good. But outside of Joe knows. I, uh, I don't I don't I don't see what the big appeal is. I don't. I really don't. You know. And, you know, at one point in time, I thought about, you know, trying out for the 2K League and all this other stuff. And it's just not for me. I'm a park player. I like the excitement of the park. And evidently, you like the excitement of the park because you watch me. Oh, yeah. By the way, I almost forgot. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. You already here. Just come on, man. Come on, man. Just just make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. It really helps me getting YouTube's recommended, man. And, and you know, turn on those post notifications. You know, you don't want to miss no videos, you dig? And I just I just don't I, I'm not going to say that I don't appreciate the 2K League videos or highly quote unquote competitive pro-am videos, you know, 5v5 and all this other stuff. I'm not saying I don't appreciate it, but 
it's just not that interesting to me to watch. I'd rather just watch the NBA, <laughs> which I am a fan of. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to my team. We we just we. For those who do not know, I'm an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, and we just we we gonna move on. We are gonna move on. Let's, let's let's get into game two. Let's get into game two. But going back to my original, you know, my original thought or my original think piece, what makes you comp? Is it the amount of time that you spend on the game? There are people who know life this game. And what do I mean by no life? Meaning the moment that they wake up, they get on the game until like they go to sleep. I don't know whether or not these people got a job. I don't know whether or not these people go to school or whatever like that. But there are people who know life this game. They don't go outside. We like to call them sweats. Now, the term sweat is very, it's, it's a very loose term. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be a sweat and you just want to win. But you go outside, you have a life and different things like that. And then you can be that other kind of sweat. And you know what I mean by far as sweat. Those are the people who exploit cheats and different things like that. Or they find a really cheesy way to win and all this other stuff. And they'll tell you, oh, it's a skill issue. You need to get better. No, you're exploiting. You know what I'm saying? Those type of people like that, we don't really respect over here at the AM clan. You did because it's just you can't play straight up, you know. And I get it. It's a video game. There's going to be glitches. But there are people who purposely go out and try to find, you know, bugs and glitches and different things like that as far as animations to, you know, make it to where they have the advantage and nobody else does, you know? It, it's, they're, they're weird. <laughs> You're weird. You're almost like a post score. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to all my post scores. You know, I, I, it ain't no love for y'all, but, you know, shout out to you anyway. But um, going back to my question, what is comp? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is comp? Now, like I told you in you know the video last week, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, if you haven't seen that, you, you need to go check that out. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty entertaining. It'll be linked at the end of this video. You know what I'm saying? It'll be like in a little card that you just you know you just click on your screen and you can just you, you know what I'm saying? You can just watch it. You know what I'm saying? You can just watch it. But um, what is comp? Who is comp? Okay, what classifies you as comp? Now, if I was to ask this question on Twitter, I'm going to get a million and one answers. You know what I'm saying? Is there a safe medium between a person who is comp and a person who is casual? You know what I'm saying? Does I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. And look at my defense. My defense is my defense was a one this game. But anyway. What makes a person comp you know what i'm saying is it is it the win percentage like we just talked about earlier is it the amount of time that you spend on the game does you know your in-game park rep or you know game progression make you comp you know what i'm saying because a really good player is just going to be a really good player regardless if they spend eight hours on the game or you know 30 minutes now, realistically speaking, you know, you need a little bit more than 30 minutes to get good at anything. But I'm, but you get what I'm saying, though. It's, you know, good players are just what they are, you know. And to tell somebody that just because they don't have the best win percentage or that they don't know what they're talking about when they're saying that certain things need to be fixed or certain things don't need to be touched. We really need to sit back and really just ask ourselves, who has the authority to say what, you know? Are we taking the advice of 2K League players? You know, the growing thing now is that casuals are making the rules of 2K that 2K is following. But me personally, I'm not sure if I agree with that. Now, to a certain extent, to a certain extent, I could see why people will say that because, you know, casual players are some of 2K's biggest, you know, where they are, should I say, 2K's biggest, you know, money making fan base. You know what I'm saying? And people like me and King Banaka who play every single year, hours upon hours upon hours and all this other stuff, they ain't really worried about us. And I get that. And I get that. So so to a certain degree. I could see why someone would say that, yeah, they're they're appealing to a casual fan base, to, to a casual audience. But I don't know, man. Let me know what you think down in the comments. So if you're new, 
make sure you subscribe hit that like button and turn on those post notifications man and y'all be cool and i'll see you in the next video peace